So, hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a touch buttons in Unity 5. Yes, buttons, not joystick, because I don't know how to create joystick yet. Uh, let's just create an empty project, new project. Then you are going to switch your platform to Android or iOS or any other mobile platform. Then you are going to import such assets like cross-platform input and you will get this option over here. Uh, and uh, also you will need to import the package characters and you will get a character prefab. So. Uh, once you imported uh, this asset, this one, this one, you will get this mobile input. And uh, please make sure you have it enabled, and also make sure that your platform is Android, which can be switched over here. Then uh, you will need to uh, go to Edit, Project Settings, and Editor, and make sure that you have here any Android device selected it's very important uh, then I I drag this window out this game window out and now I'm going to mm, start my work uh, so <coughs> I create a plane over here then I get my prefab of character this one and I take my camera, I move it inside, I place this zero zero zero, I move my camera away, like this, like this, move it out and rotate my camera this way. So I will see my character pretty good. Then I need to create empty game object or any other object and uh, add component event system and click this button add default input models here we go we have it ready now I'm going to drag into the scene this uh, prefab uh, dual touch controls and here we go we have this uh, controls over here so two uh, touch pads this one and this one and here is a button for jump but you cannot see it because it's very bright here I'm going to uh, change intensity of my sun so now you can see it very good and now I have my unity for working on my Android device and my device is hooked to uh, the PC and I can actually hit play button and uh, I can jump so you will see it right now so I hit play button I mean not play button I mean I I hit over here on my mobile device and I jump but if I hit over here over here on my device nothing happens and if I hit here and if it, and, 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 and I move here I move here and I move here on my uh, screen on my device nothing happens but it's only working over here so I tap here and it jumps and also it jumps on my device of course <coughs> and I started to dig around how to make it work uh, first of all I have to say that you have to go into Google and find resolution of your mobile device it's for better understanding of how the UI is working. So I'm using Sony Xperia UST25i and I'm going to check this site for resolution. So 480, uh, 854, 480, uh, 4. So this is this is my screen resolution so and uh, what I want to do I want to replace I want to replace those two two touch mm, pads with uh, movement uh, buttons so it's going to be 
move forward, move backward, move left and move right. So it's going to be over here. For this I'm going to take this one okay on the left. I'm going to hide this one on the right. I'm going to use only this one on the left. It's going to be like uh, button W and I'm going to uh, change the change the size of this uh, of this uh, button so it's going to be smaller like this it's going to be forward right forward uh, and then I will need to look at this component I have here such interesting stuff like event trigger and button handler so event trigger it's for uh, it's for imitation of buttons uh, for your <coughs> device so if we hit uh, and if we press or release button jump and this button is available over here so we can see it uh, jump 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 it's a button key or mouse button yeah okay no 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 uh, not this one this one this one okay this one jump so in my case it's space so it will imitate space button if I if I uh, click uh, over here so look uh, if I mm, click or if I touch this area it will imitate uh, set down so set down means you press button you know this uh, jump jump and if you release it will imitate like you not pressing this button anymore <coughs> so I guess it's enough of words let's have a let's do this so we are going to attach here uh, event trigger and button handler button handler event trigger we are going to add here so we are going to use a uh, uh, not buttons is going to be axis so uh, oh, on pointer down it's when you uh, hold this uh, button it's going to be um, our object our object this button W button W let's uh, have a look at our axis so this is axis for moving forward so it's vertical axis vertical axis and now we're going to assign a function so button handler so this one you can see this name but button handler button handler uh, set axis a positive okay and it's going to be W let's just duplicate it this is going to be S so backwards and it's going to be X is negative negative actually no <laughs> yeah I oh yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot guys I forgot we're interesting we're important stuff so look we have here only one uh, action over here so if we press this button but what if we release this button I forgot so let's just assign this one over here and negative and we forgot to assign here uh, another so uh, look uh, no no uh, add new new event so um, on pointer up so if we release this button so it's going to be button W and axis is going to be neutral so we don't press this button anymore and also the same is going to be over here so add event type pointer up and not negative it's going to be neutral and now we're going to duplicate this also for okay for come on move it it's going to be a 
bottom A. And in this case, it's going to be not vertical, it's going to be horizontal. Horizontal, mm, negative. I don't really know. It's negative. Yes, it's it's going to be negative and neutral. Yes. And uh, D. We copy, we duplicate D. Button D. And it's going to be... It's going to be positive. On handler positive. Now let's have a look at our stuff over here. So let's just uh, m move it. What we okay now it's correct. And let's just move it down like this. I think it's quite nice position. Let's just 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 move it closer like this and D also closer. So we could we could we could uh touch multiple buttons simultaneously. So if you remember you know this old method of GUI, so you could press only you know a couple of buttons simultaneously. Now you you can use multiple buttons. So now we're going to hit play, and we will enter play mode on my Android device. And now I'm going. I press forward, backward, right, left, jump. So so actually now I use this stuff on my uh, Android device. <laughs> where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, guys, that's all. This is how it's working. Actually, it's not not very good variant. I'm going to hook this uh, this camera to some object, but how to? But it's going to be in the next video, I guess. Also, I believe you can do this also with FPS controller, so it's very important to. I to remember only about you know this axis and buttons. So jump actually it's button, not axis. And this is W and S it's axis and A and D is also axis. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Have a good me bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later in the next video of something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. Bye! <laughs>